Okay, hi, uh, I'm Anna Conway. I'm a seventh grader at Westside. Bye. Bada boom. Okay, uh, this is my poem. Yeah, um, this is my poem, uh, Happy Place. This is my happy place. The sound of eggs cracking against the counter, remembering the smell of cookie batter from when I was young, eager to learn how to make it. My days of sticky hands, playing with different shaped rolling pins, and making concoctions with the extra cookie dough my mom gave me. The joy that comes with freshly ground cardamom. The mixture of flour, sugar, eggs, baking powder, salt, butter, and vanilla is a rope connecting me to my happy place. Going through our old books, the smell of paper that has seen so much, trying to find a glimpse of my grandmother's twirly, loopy handwriting in them. The warm, comforting, comforting hands of my mom measuring out the ingredients while my toddler hands are in the flour. Me and my sisters fighting about who gets to lick the bowl. I grab it from their hands. Yes, I'm triumphant. But as usual, their puppy eyes persuade me to share with them. The feeling of squishy, freshly made butter in our cheesecloth and laughing when the butter got stuck the first time we made it. Our strange bread making experiments where they never quite worked out, but our neighbors would always be happy when we showed up on their doorstep with our latest batch of bread. My family's sandwich making contest where everyone won in a different category because my mom didn't want anyone to lose. I bet you've never had an artichoke sandwich. <laughs> my mom's side of the family will come over when Christmas is just around the corner to make Swedish meatballs. And my dad always has to eat a few just to make sure they're not poisonous. Here's my family's recipe for a perfect Christmas. Seven cups family. Mom or dad's side of the family both work, whatever you have in, on hand. One teaspoon cardamom and four pounds of a crowded kitchen. One incident where we need a first aid kit and three teaspoons spilled, spilled flour. About a million sticks of butter. A, four cups of laughter. Seven family stories, diced, 200 Swedish meatballs, a $20 bribe to get one of my cousins to eat lutefisk, and a huge mess in the kitchen. Combine all the ingredients except for the freshly ground laughter, and have in mind that they don't always mix together perfectly. When the ingredients are combined, put them in a nine inch by nine inch baking pan and cook for 30 minutes. Once the pan is out of the oven, top with laughter and serve for a perfect Christmas. In fact, it was oh so Christmas when I got my first cooking knives. Santa gave me some band-aids, just in case. <laughs> Spending hours looking through every old cookbook I can find and laughing when I see ads for the modern way of cooking. It's clean, it's safe, it's just electricity. <laughs> Turning a page and a note falls out. It's a note from my great-grandma saying she went out to Food City and will be back in a bit. I can't imagine when she wrote that. The remembering of my great grandma and my family that came before me, passing the recipes down for generations. It all stays with me in the kitchen. Everyone needs an escape from our world. Everyone needs a happy place. Woo!